Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And this video tonight is mainly for a beginner in Corel Draw. It's about how to save your files and why to save them and also have the computer automatically save them for them for you. And then we're going to go into some other stuff too with the backup so you won't use so much memory. So let's say I've been working on this for five minutes. This is something I'm going to actually cut out of steel in the morning. And um, I want to name it right off the bat. I want to name it, you know, this is house number Steve number two because I've I worked on one before. So go up to Tools, Options, to Save, and have it save it every five minutes. This is going to save it into a temporary folder. You can have it save it on a thumb drive. You could specify, browse, you know, go down a thumb drive on your computer. And, you know, say if you have three or four thumb drives and you're not using one in the back, have it save it to that thumb drive. It's not going to use hard, hard drive space. And it's using not that much space anyway. But do that and then press OK. And don't forget to go to Tools and, and Save as Default when you're doing that. Now, with that said, you know, say you've been working on your file for five minutes. Go ahead and name it. Give it a file name. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how to name it. I do it like this. You know, it's house number Steve because I'm, I'm actually working on a couple for two different people right now. And But give it a name because then when you change this, uh, and that's why this is number two. I've already sent him a picture of this and he wants to change it a little bit. So now I've made it number two. Now, with that said, talking about saving memory, I'm going to draw 10 boxes here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate these boxes. Control D. And I'm going to move them down. And I'm going to duplicate them again and again. And then I'm going to draw a circle, another circle. So I, look how many. So I've done 10. I've done a, a bunch of things. And I'm going to. Now I'm going to undo. I don't want those circles. If you look at all your deal, there's my 10 creates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's already taken one of them away. Now let's do let's do a couple other things. Let's duplicate these. Move them down, duplicate them a couple more times. Now go to the undo tool. And now my create is down to three. Because I'm only saving 20. I'm only saving 20 undos. Now I'm not a computer geek, but I'm thinking it's, I know for a fact it's using memory, and I think the memory's in the RAM. So it's using RAM. So go to that, go to Tools, Options, General, and your undo level should say 20. If you're new, maybe go 50. Uh, I wouldn't really probably go any less than 10 or less than 20, but you don't want to. You don't want 500 or you don't want 800 because it's going to use RAM. So once you've changed that number, press OK. Don't forget to, to go to default and save it as default. Now, with that said, let's say I want to get back. I want to get rid of all these circles. So I can go to the undo arrow and I can go to that create right there where I just created that circle you know i don't have to go back and undo them let's go to the duplicate go back to duplicate go back to create and it's only given me the seven that i created so you don't have to go and see we're all the way to the end so i can go forward but if you want to go back to a specific spot you can use the arrow and just go down if you know you know that you had uh if you fit a text, a path, you do a circle and then select your text, text, 
fit the path, put on the path. Now, if we go to undo, there's my fit to curve. There's my create. So I want to take away the fit to curve and I've got it done. So lower your undo level when you feel more comfortable and save your file and have it automatically save your file. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.